Normally, when we talk about movies, we talk about the importance of realism. You know what I like about Stallone's movies? The realism, you know? But it turns out realism isn't actually what's important. And I want to demonstrate that using the Steve Jobs movie and a concept that I call logarithmic time. Logarithmic time uses a term from math, but I'm adapting it for our purposes. Because when something grows logarithmically, that means that its growth gets slower and slower. Likewise, in movies, at certain points, you may notice that suddenly the characters are supposedly completely out of time, the house in fire. but yet they continue bickering for five or even ten minutes, during which things are eternally approaching the point where it's too late, but never actually crossing it. And these sequences actually work well, even though they throw the reality of what's happening out the window, and a lot of very successful writers use it. And in fact, the entire movie Steve Jobs out of time. happens in logarithmic time. This device works because events in movies don't conform purely to the progression of reality. They conform to our perception of it. Take a look at this freaky guy. This is a model of how much sensory information the brain gathers about the various parts of our body. Our hands, what we touch, take in the most, followed by our face and so on. If you wanted to stimulate someone's brain the most, you would focus on touching their hands or face, not on touching every part equally. Likewise, our brains switch on the most when there is tension, a coming crisis or important event that we need to be ready for. Thus, movies have evolved to take advantage of this by placing events right before the moment of crisis in order to increase the interest in what we're seeing. 30 seconds, you're going to be late. But logarithmic times used in horror movies, too. Instead of tension creating interest, the actual threat of someone getting hurt stimulates our adrenaline. And in fact, these threats are actually more important than what they're threatening. After all, what they're threatening is actually stressful, not interesting or pleasurable. So this buildup is not leading to the payoff, it is the payoff. And thus, warping time to extend the moment before the crisis point is giving you more of the good part. And in fact, the actual attack, the thing that's threatened, is usually not even shown. It serves no purpose. Ow! Now, I've said before that we have to be able to suspend our disbelief to enjoy a movie. So what's up with this? Well, suspension of disbelief isn't broken when movies lose their logic. Get out of here. It's broken when we notice that they've lost their logic. I need a white shirt in my size with a breast pocket. Which one of the no stores that are open at 845 do you want me to have someone run to and return from? And logarithmic time takes advantage of how we perceive these events. Because in high tension situations, we pay less attention to how long things are taking. So, in any medium of entertainment, as long as enough tension is present, conversations or side events can be extended to a ridiculous degree and they won't just work, they'll work better than if things were done normally. Hope this was interesting, and if so, give it a share. Thanks.